Hello, welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate Google Earth Pro and how to get to understand the interface better, how to use some of its unique features. Yes, first of all, the navigation. You can navigate using your left click and drag to your preferred direction. Up, down, left, anyway. And then you can scroll in using your scroll wheel or your trackpad. You can hold down shift and then you change your view. Let's go to a, a precise location first so that okay. So you hold down shift. You can see the effect that it has to change your map view. Then you can also um, use your arrow keys to navigate left, right, and then you can enable the navigation keys on the screen here by clicking on view, show navigation automatically. You can make it always as you want, but automatically makes it that it doesn't always show there. But once you hover over it, it shows. If at any point you get confused on how to go back to your original state, the default is R and you're back here. It also takes you to not upward. Yeah, so if you're making a map or you want to take a save an image, make sure that you always have your map oriented not upward if that's what you want if it's not at least be setting the orientation of your map then you can also search places on the software application let's say you want to search for banex plaza So you can search for a location, you can search for the name of a place, you can search for an address directly here and it takes you to the address. You can search for E-Trace within Banex Plaza. Let's just say E-Trace. You see, it's not all that complicated. So all you have here, you have a lot of options next thing is to just satisfy your taste spots then you can also set a default start location so if you want it that whenever google Earth pro starts up it goes to a an exact location you can change your view say you want this one explorer to be your default start location and then becomes your start location so if you have to restart google Earth pro now it comes immediately to that location then you can add grid coordinates. Grid coordinates can help you know the approximate coordinates around the location. For example, if you are told to search for 7 degrees 25 minutes, you won't be searching around 7 degrees 28 minutes. Yeah, you can easily search for it around your location if you do not want to search using coordinates. But if you have to search using coordinates, let's find out clear this up so if you want to search using coordinates degrees minutes and seconds that's what gets people a little confused not before east so you put your nine degrees you don't need to write the degrees just a space in between zero five minutes space 43.2 comma seven degrees Three minutes forty three point two. Enter. Oh, yeah, I made an error here. I added a comma here. Sorry about that. So it takes you <laughs> straight into the desert, but this is it. So you can 
search for a location and get it saved if you we'll cover this in another video but if you want to save that exact location i'd already moved it it's typically in the center so you can only save that location but see you in another video where you will cover it then what else for this video you can enable pictures of an exact location you can um let's say pictures there is one i want to show you here which is national stadium Fine. So you can enable pictures when it's enabled. Let's turn off this grid coordinates. It makes a real look nasty. Yeah. When pictures are enabled, you can see the icons here. So where pictures are valuable for that location, you just click on it and you can see pictures of the stadium. Yeah. So um you can also enable the 3D view. 3D buildings, you can see where my cursor is. 3D buildings, you can see, okay, let me turn this off so that you see the effect it has on the National Stadium, just watch it. Yeah, so, you can um, enable roads, to so see the road networks. Cool. You can also enable borders and labels. Borders and labels. These labels that we're already showing here are by virtue of my search for National Stadium. But as you can see, as I enable borders and labels, you can see other labels of areas and sub area names are now enabled. If you zoom out, you'll be able to see the um, borders between states, state boundaries country boundaries and all of that just the way you like it you can also play around with all of these all of these features and see what comes out of it then yeah street view if you want to check out the location in street view click on street view here drag it in and then wherever you have the blue lines active then you can check it out on street view let's drop it here so you drag and drop in your preferred streets so you can use your arrow keys if you press it once this is what it gives you but if you press it continuously this is due to network lag i don't think this is google it so you can always switch by left click oh boy you can switch left click and move around when you're stuck remember click on r <laughs> it saves you so you can also switch to yeah the ground level view depends on what you're looking for you can always exit this so that's about it yes we can also search for directions you want to go from one point to another point you click on get directions get directions point a to b you can see we want to go from university of benin or university of abuja to Asu Rock and then click on get directions and it gives you the direction so you can see it's actually very detailed turn left to towards Mohammed Masido roads and all of that so you can get proper directions from one point to another point using google Earth. so did you find these features fun if there are any more features which you like to talk about do well to leave a comment follow up through the videos 
uh, the next video will help us understand how to measure features and then after that we'll see how to create features using google x pro thank you for watching and see you in the next video welcome to special data hub to subscribe turn on post notifications so you do not miss out